the Toronto Raptors, they're trying to get that front court beefed up again now, signing Alex Len to a contract. And Alex Len here, it's a good depth signing. I doubt he starts with Aaron Baines in town. So after losing Serge Ibaka and Marcus All, it's a pretty good get for this Raptor team. They got Van Vliet back. Now you got Baines, you got Bembry, and now you had Alex Len, a big man last year who averaged eight points six rebounds and 55 percent from the field with a block a game so alex len i don't know if you're going to be targeting him in shallow leagues 10 to 12 team leagues he's a guy you probably take a wait and see approach on for your team but alex len it's a good ad in real life this guy hustles there's some games where he has huge double doubles but i don't know if the consistency is going to be there for him in toronto with aaron bind baines over there as well but len i like the landing spot he got a decent contract as well with this Raptor team. And now for fantasy basketball, he'll be on the radar, like I said, on and off for most of the season. But he's a guy I'm just not going to go out there and run to get. He's on a good team, though. He'll get some rebounds. I think his numbers could go up in the rebound category, maybe seven or eight a game. And his points will be about the same at six to eight points a game for Len. So the Raptors get Alex Len to add to that front court after losing two big pieces in Marcus Gasol and Serge Ibaka.